And it's Laurent now taking the corner. A chance, and it's in! And Edwards has scored! That was a very, very good goal, you know. Well worked. Very simple goal from a corner kick. The Bolton players obviously felt the goalkeeper should have come there, uh, Peter. But uh, that was a lovely flick, and he, and he took the goal well. But as I said, as far as I'm concerned, when they've attacked Torquay, they look much the better side. The keeper's clearly at fault, I would think. Well, most of the noise at the moment is coming from the Torquay end. They're leading by a goal to nil. Derby Tumwell! Oh, yes! Yeah. I spoke too soon. 27 minutes gone, and young Julian Derby has equalised for Bolton. And that was an excellently taken goal. It caused problems with these corners. Torquay couldn't get it clear, and Derby gave himself a little bit of space onto his right foot and steered in delightfully. He certainly won't be happy with that, uh, Cyril Knowles. I mean, the way he turned was brilliant, the boy Derby, but he should never be allowed to do that. And the electronic scoreboard, once again, we showed you when Torquay were in the lead, and there it is, 1-1, equaliser by Julian Derby. 29 minutes gone. And just look at the Bolton fans, ecstatic, wild with delight over there. Just look at the flags waving and singing, Wanderers, Wanderers, we've all come down to Wembley. And just look at it, brilliant, superb. Win Stanley. Caldrill galloping away down the left in a lot of space here. That familiar style of his, Thomas. Chandler, driven in, oh no! I think it was Morrison that came off. And just look at his anguish. Chandler's shot. And agonisingly for Torquay, they go behind. Calvary got away down the left. Morgan couldn't get in there. And here's Chandler, and this look for the shot, and it goes off Morrison and beyond the strand in Kenny Allen. Well, and Cyril Knowles on his feet, urging his team on. Not away yet, foot was high, no free kick given, Crombie. And here's the danger that they can get caught on the break. Crombie's gone steaming through the middle, if they can find him here, he's onside, it's Dean Crombie. It's 3-1 now to Bolton. And surely now, this final is beyond Torquay. That was always the danger, being caught on the break, and it happened. Crombie, who played the ball out at the start of the move, and kept going. The Bolton central defender, you'll see him calling in the middle there. And as the cross comes over, well, I reckon he might have been onside, but, well... The Lions' flag stayed down and he tucked it away sweetly enough. He did very well for a defender, Peter. He wouldn't have fancied a defender in that situation. Stora chasing. He's got there. It's another one. Surely, yes, from Morgan. Torquay all over the place then. And it was a substitute, Stora, who set it up. And Dalton has scored a fourth goal. And it's Trevor Morgan, the man they feared, who was in the right place, stored it so well then to get his cross in. Morgan unmarked, and Kenny Allen was nowhere. So now then the moment that Bolton have dreamed about for a few years, winning a trophy again. They won in the FA Cup here back in the late 50s, beaten three years ago in the final of this competition, then the Freight Rover Trophy. Now today, they'll leave here as the victors. And we await that moment when the crowd erupt, the Bolton fans here, and there the beaming smile of Phil Brown. And there it is, that's the cup. It's Bolton's day. And that's what they think of it all among the thousands and thousands of Bolton fans who've made the trek down from the north.